Welcome back, everyone. So more than 131,000 people will die of lung cancer this year alone. It has the lowest five-year survival rate of other cancers. That is because by the time people start to see the symptoms and they get into the doctor, it's usually too late to treat. But now a new drug is adding years to patients' lives. Not much scares Cindy Morris. I'm an exciting person. I like doing exciting stuff. From jumping solo at 13,000 feet to speeding down the highway on her Harley, Cindy thought nothing could stop her until... I woke up on a Saturday and there was a large lump in my neck. Cindy was diagnosed with stage 4 non-small cell lung cancer. I was stunned. Radiation, chemo, surgery, and two clinical trials worked temporarily, but tumors returned in her lungs, lymph nodes, adrenal glands, spleen, and brain. Then a new drug gave her new hope. I take six of them a day. Washington University lung cancer oncologists believed this new drug, sodorapsib, may be Cindy's last chance. We were in a tough situation where the tumor was popping up everywhere. Sodorapsib targets tumors caused by a specific DNA mutation, blocking cancer cells from multiplying. She had this huge lump that was sitting on, the, uh, on her belly. Uh, we knew that that was bad. And when we started the drug within a couple of weeks, I could no longer find it on exam. One week after starting the trial, Cindy was able to cut her pain medication in half. Three weeks into the trial, Cindy's tumors started shrinking. Now, two years later, she's still taking the drug. All but one tumor in her lung have disappeared. I've done a mission trip. I've, I've been back to my church. I mean, I feel like me again. That's true. Pretty amazing. So researchers say an 80% of the 126 patients on this trial, 80%, the tumors got smaller or the growth did not progress. Sodorapsid is FDA approved and sold under the brand name Lumacaris. So make sure you're talking with your doctor if you need this help.